Hey, welcome back everybody. There's a box, which means another guitar. Uh, and again, full disclosure right up front, this is not going to be a plug-in or a demo of the guitar or a discussion of the guitar. It's an unboxing. The box is right there. Literally just got this thing shipped to me, dropped off from FedEx. Now, another full disclosure. I ordered this um, a while ago and received it now. Um, and it's from Pro Audio Star. Now, I know I've said caution to dealing with Pro Audio Star. I've had a couple of um, service related um, uh, things going on with them. But uh, I did order this guitar, so I'm going to review it. And again, price wise, Pro Audio Star, really hard to beat. And as a result, it makes it very tempting not to buy gear from them. Uh, however, you have to buy with the full knowledge that if you should have an issue with them from a purchasing standpoint, it might not be that easy to return the item. And as a matter of fact, they, they recently sent me some correspondence stating that, you know, that I had excessive returns. And as a result, um, they've changed their policy now where they charge a restocking fee of 15% and uh, a shipping fee a return shipping fee of $25 or so, which combined to return a guitar, even if you've got a problem you claim with a guitar, is exorbitant and will, will definitely result in people not returning items that may or may not have you know, pretty substantial problems. So again, this new policy that they do, and it's to keep their costs down and be able to offer guitars at such crazy low prices, as they say, it's not something that's good if you have an issue with your guitar. So, in any event, and, and I had no excessive returns, by the way. Um, I had one current return that was done prior to me having a problem with another item. But that's that's neither here nor there. Um, prices are good. If you do buy from them, just you know be aware that it could be a bit of a, a hassle if you have to return something. Keep your fingers crossed and hope that there aren't any problems and you can get a great guitar at a great price. So, with that said, this video is, is this guitar, this open box described guitar in good shape from Pro Audio Star and is it a good purchase? I always call these videos deal or no deal. Is it a deal or is it a no deal? So, let's take a look and see what's in this box. So as you can see, it's probably not going to be much of a surprise, right? It's got it written all over the box. It's a Gretsch. And the box has been, you know, it's it's sealed at one end and taped here, so it's definitely been opened. Um, and it appears that it is not a brand new item, as some customers or, or some people on YouTube seem to imply that a lot of these things are open boxed items but they're actually not open boxes. The boxes are sealed. This one is not sealed. It was taped. The item inside could be open. Uh, could be a, a, a new, for all intents and purposes, new guitar. But let's see what kind of condition this is in. So I will take out my trusty knife here. We'll open her up. And again, I apologize for those that hate unboxing videos. But in this particular case, in order for me to do this, it has to be an unboxing video. <laughs> So let's see. All right, so it appears that it's a box in a box, or as Fender packs their guitars. And again, no surprise, right? Because I guess uh, Gretsch is now technically owned by Fender Music Corporation, I think. Um, it's box, boxed similar to how you would get a uh, Fender guitar. Okay, so sliding on down, this is what the guitar looks like inside the box that slides into the single box that it comes with. It has bubble wrap on top of the guitar, which is a good thing, and it has this tag 
that's stuck to the bubble wrap, which is their Proposition 65 warning about hazardous materials. Uh, I'm going to open this up here. Seems to be packaged very well. We'll give them that much credit. Okay, taking the bubble wrap off as you can see. Inside the box, seated very nicely, is the guitar. So let's take out the guitar and see what condition this open box is in. And, and inside the box is the Allen wrench for the neck adjustment and how to adjust a little instruction on how to adjust the trust rod on the guitar. And it has all the foam and protection inside this box. On the headstock is the foam covering protection for the headstock, which is nice, and obviously the styrofoam bag over the guitar. So right now it's, it's packaged pretty much as if you would get a new guitar. That's how it's packaged at this point in time. What condition this actual guitar is in, we will find out. Okay. take this off the guitar to see what we what we're looking at here I really hate the styrofoam stuff it's just I find it like nails on a chalkboard the feel of it how it sticks to the guitar pulling it off don't like it okay let me just see what's inside here first Okay. All right. This is the Gretsch two-year limited warranty. As you can see it. Right there. Put this over here. On the guitar is the quality control checklist to show that they actually did check this guitar before it left the plant. Cover on the uh, three-way switch, the styrofoam cap. Plastic is still on the pick guard. And the headstock looks to be okay. Let me just take this off here. If I can reach it. And this is the uh, other inspection tag on the guitar right here see if you can see that there it is focus is a little off but everything on this guitar that's come with the guitar the tags the packaging looks like it's brand new right so even though it's an open box doesn't appear to be something that's been used heavily or um, returned. But let me just take a look further at the guitar itself to see what condition that's in. Um, and, and the guitar itself is a Gretsch semi-hollow. It's, it's a, what is the exact model on this, this guy? It's the um, G2655 semi-hollow body, small body semi-hollow guitar in um, I think it's called gold glow or something to that effect, the color. It's a pretty, not not gold glow, um, I will get you the exact color on the next video, but you can see here it's a burst, right? It's effectively a burst with a nice light finish in the middle. It almost looks like a three-tone sunburst. Very nice looking guitar. And more importantly, this one appears to be 
cosmetically at least, in pretty good shape. Like new, I would say. So, let me just see here if we have any right out of the chute. I know it's not going to be in tune, but any noticeable buzzing or any issues on the uh, playing end of it. Yeah, oh boy, it's really good tune, huh? Now, well, playability-wise, actually feels pretty nice. I'll, I'll tune her up, plug her in, and make sure the electronics work and everything else. And then I'll come back with another video where I will actually um, describe what this uh, Gretsch Streamliner G2655 guitar uh, is all about in terms of the features and functions. I'll plug her in playability wise and let you know what my thoughts are in terms of my first impression on the guitar. This was simply to see what condition this open box described guitar was from Gretsch. Now you can save considerable money with open box guitars at Pro Audio Star, right? It's the reason I bought it as I mentioned. This was $269.99 for this guitar and it's normally $399.99 so that's significant savings. For something that looks pretty much the same as if you ordered a brand new guitar uh, from Guitar Center that was this model. So there are savings to be had. You just have to, again, keep your fingers crossed, right, that you don't have any problems with the guitar because it could be uh, a long road ahead for you uh, dealing with a return or trying to get a hold of them over at Pro Audio Star. That's my only caveat. Um, other than that, I don't have anything to complain about in terms of my initial look at this open box of this Gretsch guitar um, today. So, any questions, fire them below. Any comments regarding this experience or, or issues with it or questions with it, put them below. Um, if you have, uh, if you like these first impression videos and uh, they're helpful to you, um, Please let me know and subscribe. And as always, guys, until the next time, be well and stay safe. Take care.